hey loves welcome or welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is faith and today guys i'll be checking out this video by the view and joy beha blames mental health saying that it's the job and you guys i'm excited for this if you are yet to subscribe to this channel please consider subscribing give this video a massive thumbs up comment share and all that good stuff and without much ado let's see what the view has for us in this video okay some of you need proof that joy behar's mind is gone it is lost this is one of the funniest ones where the hispanic lady talks about immigration and you'll never guess now no scrubbing ahead but take your guess now what tell me what you think joy behar uses as an excuse for this immigration you won't be able to guess because it just comes boo, from mars Thank you guys for subscribing in unprecedented numbers and commenting and giving us a thumbs up. We have the best engagement. That means we're a community, but we're going to start on the immigration double standard with liberals. But frankly, you know, I think we need to find, and, and we've dealt with this before. I, I lived in, uh, in Miami. I was a migrant, an immigrant in Miami in the 80s. You'll remember when we had the Marielle boat lift. Yes. 125,000 Cubans yeah. came in a matter of six months. The Cubans came over. This is part of Reagan's amnesty that he offered. He was like saying one-time amnesty, you could be a citizen, and then we're cutting off the borders. It didn't work that way. It didn't work. He was wrong on it. And America has done a really bad job on our borders. But she's just saying, look, 125,000 people came all at once, and it was a disaster. And she's, this is related to New York where the Texas uh, state has been busing them up to New York and dumping them out. And now New York is overflowing, all their facilities are overdone. It puts tremendous stress on, on, on a city, on a community, on the social services. There is no city in America that is better equipped to handle this overage than New York. So if New York is overflowing and done, it's not like some other city is going to do a better job. Okay, New York is a sanctuary city, so the, Abbott's sending them up there. That's where they belong. Get them all up there. DeSantis is sending them up there. It's a sanctuary city. This is what you guys voted for. You, the view, voted for them, and people who disagreed with you, you called racist. And frankly, uh, you deserve all of these immigrants. They never thought they would come. They always thought they'd stay down in Arizona and Texas. See, so they're like, oh yeah, we'll have open border policies and we'll have sanctuary cities because we're up in San Francisco, we're up in New York and they're not going to come up here. Well, now they're coming up there. They're being bussed up there. Now they're going, hey, we don't have the facilities. We're overflowing. We're in trouble. They need to be resettled elsewhere. Oh, yeah, you made it in on the boat. But you're saying for you guys, you need to be resettled. Get out. That's how liberals work, guys. That's how Democrats do it. Notice she's saying you need to be resettled somewhere, but um, but it's not anything racist on her part. Why, why should I be accused of racism if I say they should be resettled from Texas to New York? And she's going, no, no, they need to be resettled from New York to somewhere else, maybe to Nebraska or North Dakota or Oklahoma. Well, why isn't that something to do with race? They need right? to, they need to be out. We're this spread, massive yeah. country. And then there's the blonde one. I can't even remember her name. She's all, in this massive country, they need to be out. No, I say pile them all up in New York and only New York. I want millions of these immigrants in New York, just New York, pile it on. Those people voted for this stuff in unprecedented numbers. They can eat it. But now comes Joy Behar's moment of genius. This is a, a brain fart that is so dumb, I don't even know how to respond. So I want to hear from you guys. You ready? It's time for another Joy Bay fart. Well, and it's only going to get worse with global warming and climate change because people can't live in certain parts of this world. What parts of the world can people not live in anymore? There's no such thing. The people aren't moving from Mexico to here because of global warming, you moron. This is a religion to them. They apply it to everything. Look, if this whole country drained of illegal immigrants, they'd blame it on global warming and climate change. If they come in, they're going to blame it on it because all we know is no matter what happens, they've got their pet answer. 
and Joy Behar cannot make it make sense. I'd love to hear someone in the chat explain to me how that makes sense exactly. There's no mass immigration. That's not, it's not caused by weather changes. It is caused by economic changes, and that's why they're all coming here. Joy. Thank you all for subscribing. Thank you all for watching and participating. I'm Doug in exile. Wow, you guys, that was such an interesting one from the view. I always love to see the ladies argue with each other on the view. And when Joy Bay has said people are migrating from some part of the world because people can no longer live there. It was such a hilarious statement because there is nowhere in the world where people are migrating from because of global warming. People are really migrating because of economical change. The reason why people are migrating is because of economical change and looking for a greener pasture. There is nowhere in this world that the media has said that there is a particular place where people are no longer fit to live because of the climatic change. Let me know your thoughts on this one. I really had fun reacting to this video. If you guys enjoyed watching, give this video a massive thumbs up, comment, share, and all that good stuff. And this is me officially signing out. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.